welcome back to my channel and another haul video here. Today I have the monthly collected haul for the month of September, which if you didn't know, was my birthday month. And it was kind of my intention, or not really intention, but I was allowing myself to go all out if I wanted, because it was the final exception in my year of budgeted hauls. Now, that's a format that I'm trying out this year. I've already got plans to tweak it for next year. We'll talk about that more in like December when I have it like fully mapped out. But as it stands right now, all I can spend on nail polish in, you know, the current month is anything I made off of my social media mediocre manny's persona. I guess. It's not a persona. This is literally who I am in real life. But, you know, me as mediocre manny. So anything that I make off of commission codes or ad revenue, things like that, that are directly related to Mediocre Manny's, the internet entity, that is what goes into my budget for the following month. But this month, September, was an exception because like I said, it was my birthday month. So I did not use my nail polish budget for the month of September. I have my own personal like extraneous buffer savings and I use that for whatever I feel like, except for nail polish <laughs> this year, except in this case, that's what I used this month for all my nail polish shopping. So this is the first month that I haven't been as meticulous keeping track of the prices because it wasn't coming directly out of my nail polish budget. So there are a couple of these where I don't know the exact price, but it doesn't matter necessarily because it's not coming out of that budget. However, I am trying to show you guys like this is what I spend <laughs> in a month on nail polish as a nail polish enthusiast slash nail polish YouTuber. And it's not like an example of what you should or should not spend. I'm just showing you what I personally spend and maybe how I feel about it. So let's get into the actual haul. I will give you as many of the numbers as I can. Um, so just to start from August, I did roll over $93.54. That's what remained unspent in August. So I rolled it over into September and because that wasn't touched, that will roll over again. I also made, let's see, $166.90 in ad revenue and an additional $7.01, wow, breaking the bank there, in my commission codes. So that brings me to a total of $267.45. And because I didn't touch any of that, all of that's gonna roll over. So that's just how it ended up working. And again, next year things are gonna be reworked, so that may not necessarily be the case. So it was my birthday month, like I said. September 2nd was my birthday, it's very early, very early in the month, so I really have no business celebrating the entire month, but I did it anyway. So I will talk about the nail polish, but really quick, I wanted to show you a couple gifts I got from Rob, and then also a gift to me from me, uh, which I think you guys will like. So first of all, on my birthday, Rob gave me this tracksuit from Adidas. I love tracksuits and it's blue and this was the month of blues for me. I only wore blues in the month of September. Not just like not blue clothes and stuff but like I wore only blue nail polishes. So he got me this blue tracksuit. I have matching bottoms on as well and then he got me some shoes to go with it but they're in the other room. I can't I can't be bothered to go get them but they are also Adidas because I love Adidas. And then this also has nothing to do with nail polish but he got me he got me, this is probably not gonna be like making any sense to anybody, but I told him many a times that the entire reason I'm obsessed with crafts, I love doing crafts, especially like cross stitch and knitting like fiber arts. And I told him, I was like, I blame Barney for the way that I am because he had this magic bag filled with crafts. And as a kid, I was obsessed with it. And he found the bag. Like this is from, I can't remember. We found a date on it. It's from a long time ago, that's for sure. And so now it's my new craft bag. I've got crafts in there right now. And I just thought that was a really sweet gift. And then I got this other pair of shoes that many people tagged me in, sent me uh, links to the launch of this. And I gotta say, this is probably the closest you guys are ever gonna come to see in my feet. But uh, look at these shoes. The Shrek Crocs that you had to enter a lottery to even be able to buy them. So they have like 
his face as the gibbets and then the heel piece is fuzzy and it has like this little like black tie on it and it's got the shrek logo just really cute really funny i have a shrek sweatsuit and i have shrek socks so I will in fact be wearing that as a complete outfit at some point. Okay, I've been filming for like 10 minutes and haven't shown a single nail polish, so let's do that. So on September 1st was Polish Pickup that went live and it the September Polish Pickup is always great because it's the Halloween themed Polish Pickup. Every year they do some kind of Halloween type theme and then I think in November they do some kind of Christmas or like end of year holiday theme. So I think people do like Hanukkah and New Year's as well in that one. And then what is it? June is always rewind. So they have some set months. So September is always the Halloween theme. They did haunted history for this month. And I, I listen, I find history super interesting. I love history. I watch all these crazy random historical, like anything YouTube recommends me that they're like, check out this weird historical thing. I'm like, yes, I would love to watch a 20 minute video essay about that thing that I've never heard of before in my life. Haunted history is not my vibe. I don't, haunted stuff, just, I don't, I don't care. I like cryptids, but haunted, like ghosts, I'm like, eh, I don't know. So this one, like the theme, some of the theme was a little bit of a miss for me, but I did still walk away uh, spending, what, $74.90 on five nail polishes. I actually thought I would end up with more, to be honest, but I ended up paring my list down pretty decently from what it was. So the one that was like a definite must for me was Alchemy Lacquer's Oddities. And this is, it's got something weird on it. Okay, we got it. This is like a limey lighter green with a very, very shocking purple shimmer running through it. It looks like there is some red lean to the shimmer as well. And I just, it just, it, it doesn't scream like fall or Halloween to me, but it does scream weird. And that, that's what I love. So I got that one. I broke my no thermals rule again. And I got this Caloris de Carol thermal. Um, it's a thermal magnetic, which is interesting to me. I don't care as much about the magnetic properties of this one, although still cool, like still works for me. It's just the thermal of it looked super, super cool. And if I can find, like, I'm going to show you bottle shots of all these because I haven't worn any of them yet because I've only been wearing blue this month. But if I can find a, like an example of the thermal shift as well, I'll show you that. And it's called I Knew It. And I just, it's like a really funky color. This is the second month in a row that I bought thermals, even though I always tell myself no thermals, maybe, maybe that rule is, maybe it's gone. Maybe it's done. Maybe we're not doing that anymore. I'm not, not sure. But when they call to me, I'm like, I should just enjoy my life. You know, I got Cupcake Polish's Mothman because I just love him. He's just so precious. I just want to give him a little pat. He looks so soft. And this is a, I guess I didn't even describe this one at all did I um because I can't describe it it's got a lot going on it's got flakies in it it's got like a very green shimmer the base is like a brownish red and uh when the magnet shift comes in it just pulls all that green into the center or all that what does it pull into the center see it looks like it's pulling green on here but then on the camera it looks like it's just like a white stripe. So I don't know. I have to play with that one a little bit more. Like I said, I really bought it because of the thermal element, not because of the magnetic element. Then we have the cupcake polish, which like I said, is called Mothman. I could not resist. It is a, it's got silver glitter and it looks like silver shards in here, like flakes. Uh, it has red and black glitters as well because you know, Mothman is this big fuzzy black moth with red eyes and no neck. He's like this. He literally looks like, like you pull your shirt up like, like this, like that's the Mothman. Um, and yeah, so the black and red being broken up by the silver, I think was a good choice so that both of those color elements could stand out on their own because if you did a black, 
base with like the red glitters in it, it it gets a little bit obscured. So I really like this. I thought it was fun. My friend swatched this, Stacy Quality Nails. She got to swatch this. She does some swatches for her cupcake, which very jealous of because they I they become a recent favorite. Ever since I went to PBE and I picked up some of the stuff from their booth and I just saw like how into it they were. Their booth was so cool. I'm like, all right, Cupcake, I see you. In a similar kind of finish, like just a lot of glitters, I got Dom's Traumatic Static. This is a reflective. You guys know I don't really like actively seek out reflectives, but I've gotten to a place where I do like a reflective. I think they're cool. I just am not like going to buy something solely because it's a reflective. And this is, it's got like a blue, kind of tealy base shimmer. You can kind of see that running through there. And then it has matte white and black glitters. And there's something about the like matte white and black, that kind of salt and pepper effect that I just love. And in with all that reflective glitter and that blue kind of shift, I was just like, when they call it like traumatic static, and I think of like the static on the TV, that's exactly what this polish looks like to me. So I can kind of see it shifting a little bit purple too in the bottle in that shimmer. So I'm excited to get this on the nail. I do think, I can't remember off the top of my head how the swatches looked. I think a blurring base with this will be good. And then maybe three coats because I do, with glitters like this, there is always some gaps if you don't like sponge it on and you can see nail line and my nails are getting to that point where they're getting lengthy again. So I need to cover up that nail line. Well, I don't need to, it's just, I want to. And then, so shocking, you guys are gonna be like, Hillary, somebody has replaced you. This is called The Saw Is Family by Sweet and Sour Lacquer. And it's red. I bought a red from Polish Pickup. She never does that. Who is she? It is, I think, Stacy swatched this one too. God, she swatches for all the cool brands. Um, it is like a jellyish blood red and it has these flakies running through it, iridescent flakies and black flakies. And I just saw it and was like, that is Halloween. So this is going directly onto my Halloween rack after this video. So that is my Polish pickup order on September 2nd, which was my birthday. Rob was like, what do you wanna do? And I was like, can we go to Ikea? <laughs> and so we went to Ikea and it, he never says no to going to Ikea because he loves the meatballs. And like, you know, we don't have to go to Ikea to buy stuff in order to eat the meatballs. We can just go to Ikea, eat at the restaurant, and then leave. And he goes, no, that's not the experience. We have to walk through Ikea. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's fine with me. So we walked through the entirety of Ikea despite me just going to buy my fifth Helmer, um, which I did assemble on camera, like vaguely. Yeah, I, I have a video of it. Did I post that? I think I did. Uh, and I will put that in the cards up here. And that cost uh, $80, $80.55. Helmers, when I first started buying them, they were 40 or $50. And I feel like, I feel like they were 40 when I first bought it. Then the next one was 50, then 60. Like every time I buy a new Helmer, they go up $10 and the quality goes down significantly in between each Helmer. So I did say, and I'm sticking to this, this is my final Helmer. I will not be buying any more Helmers. I will not be buying any more nail polish storage. Let me just say that too, so that it doesn't, I'm not like getting a sneaky one in because you know, I thought about doing that. Um, No, this is my final nail polish storage and anything, once I fill this up, I will have to get rid of stuff if I want to add new to my collection. And we will be talking about that in a future video here soon. So that was my birthday. And then on the 9th, Hollow Taco released their Sophia collaboration. Now, I didn't really watch Sophia very much. I watched videos here and there. I wasn't like super into her content. I love her style. You know, I just like her little like gothy, cute style. I think she's really pretty. I just, you know, I, I wasn't like religiously watching her content. So I knew that I wasn't going to be driven to buy like blindly this box. And then I saw the box and I was like, oh my God, the box is so cool. The box was really pretty. I did not like, I like 
viscerally immediately. I did not like two of the polishes. I think the, it was like Bury Me in Hollow, I think is what it was called. And then Feeling Fiendish, the purpley cream. I didn't like either of those. So instantly I was like, all right, we're not buying the box. You can't buy the box. You can't spend that much just to get a stupid cool box. And so I didn't get those. However, I saw Spirit Fingers. Guess I should probably grab them, huh? I saw Spirit Fingers and I was like, well, I know I have like nine polishes like that, but I love it. I just love a gray with a, a cool shimmer running through it. Like awesome looking shimmer, not like cool tone shimmer. I don't care what, if it's cool or warm tone. I'll take it. And Spirit Fingers, I thought the name was cute. So I was like, absolutely must have that one. And then for some reason, I was like, well, I'll buy the other two as well. And that is a regret. I will tell you that I've never, I don't think I've ever said like, oh, I regret. No, I did say that once. I did regret buying the, the Fruit Loops, right? Uh, the Fruit Loops polishes, but this I also regret. And I bought one called Brucey and I bought one called Bat Bitch, which they censored because that's dumb. I don't know. Just like, I guess it's just like the, I hate when people censor stuff in this way where they put like a little star for one letter. Cause I'm like, I still know what it says. Like, what's the point? Anyways, so Brucey, they look so, they both look so dark that I'm like, I'm trying to figure out which one's which. Brucey is like a really deep, I think it's like a green or like teal hollow. But then somebody pulled out, is it In the Woods or Lost? It? No, it's just In the Woods because Lost in the Woods is the song from Frozen 2. So In the Woods is also like a deep green hollow. That was from their dark rainbow collection. And somebody put them side by side and they looked pretty indiscernible. And I was like, well, cool. Now I have two of almost the same thing, which, okay, I'm one to talk, right? Uh, but I was like, well, I didn't need that. Shouldn't have bought that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll probably keep it. Now maybe I'll destash it. We don't know. It's a mystery. Future Hillary will figure it out. And then Bat Bitch is a like black. I think it do they describe it as a metallic? And then it has a blue shimmer running through it. And I historically don't like this kind of a colorway. I love a gray with a shimmer in it. I don't love a black with a shimmer in it because like the blacks are always metallic and then it's just i don't know it looks weird it looks maybe i'll wear them once and see if i like them on me because that often happens where i'm like in the bottle i'm like uh, i don't know and then i put it on and i'm like wow this is the greatest thing that ever existed so i need to i need to test drive them we need to test drive let's take a swatch picture or something and then did i say what that costs i didn't it's 51 dollars and 51 cents that I paid for those three polishes plus shipping. And then I got a fourth polish because I had a birthday reward and they had late checkout as one of the birthday rewards. This is my kind of color. Okay, this, don't regret for a second. I actually regretted not picking this up right when it came out because this is called the Vacation Collection. Me and Stacy yelled back at it, back and forth at each other for like five minutes because I was like, what collection is this from? And she's like, the vacation collection. And I was like, yeah, I know. But what was the collection called? And she's like, it's literally just called the vacation collection. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not creative and cool. So it's not called that. And she goes, yes, it is. So I Googled it and it was called the vacation collection. And I was like, well, that's boring. So it's from the vacation collection. And when that came out, this was the one that was the standout for me. It has gold reflective glitter in it. And it's like this cool purple kind of like multi chrome -y color. So I'm excited to put that one on, which, you know, I got two really, really cool hollow taco polishes and two hollow taco polishes where I'm like, why did I buy those? So in reality, these just cancel each other out and I got no hollow taco polishes is the way that I'm seeing it. Okay. So then on September 11th, Cleona had their 2023 anniversary drop you know they have eyeshadow and then they had a nail polish trio and I saw the trio and I was like I was texting Nick and I was like yeah I'm buying that like I barely even looked at it I was like yeah I want that I didn't I didn't look at it closely at all I was just like yeah that's what I'm gonna buy and I bought it <laughs> and with shipping it cost $43.27, 
So this is what it looks like. And at first, after I took a step back and I looked at it, I was like, what? Like, why did I buy all three? Like, I hate this tone of purple. I don't know what it is. I just cannot enjoy it. I don't like the way it looks on me. I don't like looking at it at all. I'm like looking at it. I'm like, ew, I don't want, I don't want to look at this. I just don't like it. I like a darker or like more neon leaning purple. I just don't like this type of purple. Um, would you call it like a lavender? Which I love the smell of lavender. I just don't like lavender. Um, so I was just kind of like, ugh. I should have just bought the two that I liked, which is aged oak and golden prairie. And then the purple is called purple pampas. Don't know what a pampas is. Um, probably something I should know. Uh, so I was kind of like, oh, I should have just bought the two. You know, that was silly of me. But then I looked at the prices individually and I was like, oh, maybe I didn't make the worst choice because buying these two separately would have cost me more than if I had just bought the trio, which I did. So Purple Pampas and Aged Oak, the two creams are currently with the currency conversion, $9.87. However, the gold polish right here, Golden Prairie, it is made with real 24 karat gold. Here's proof, just in case you were wondering. The cap says it, so it, you know, I love that little cap sticker. I thought it was funny. So <laughs> this guy right here costs $22 and 78 cents. So 22.78 plus 9.87 whatever. It's like roughly it's a little over $33. And buying the trio all together is $30 and 37 cents. So I actually saved money and got an extra polish that I don't need. And I can just give that to somebody else. Like I can just I'll see if my sister wants it because I just don't like the purple. I just don't. But this color combo I love this, this kind of yummy chocolatey brown. I hate the word yummy. I don't, I, I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> but this, I want the Cirque gold topper every year when it comes out. And then every year I'm like, Hillary, don't buy it. You don't need it. And so then I don't buy it. It's like the one thing I can resist. I don't know why. And then it sells out and I'm like, I wish I bought it. And so now I have a 24 karat gold topper. I saw somebody on Instagram who had both. Swatch them side by side. They look exactly the same. So I don't ever have to think about the Cirque topper ever again. Because the Cirque topper is a bajillion and a half dollars. And this one cost me almost nothing comparatively. So I am happy with that purchase. I don't regret it. On September 15th, I was about to like step out my door and then suddenly there was just a package there and I was like I'm not expecting anything what is this and I opened it up and guess what it was PR from China Glaze and I didn't know I was getting that I I got PR from them once back in spring and then I never got PR again and that's fine like you know companies do PR in different ways they have different lists with different priorities and stuff but you know, I had reached out to them in, in the spring and so I didn't reach out to them again after that just because, I don't know, I just didn't. But here's the inside of the box. Very cool. This is the Serpentine collection. I have it all sitting next to me. Um, but it just showed up and I was like, hey, I love that. And I got so excited when I opened it, except the box. I just want everybody to know the box smells really weird. <laughs> Like the packaging, just whatever glue they use. I don't know, but it smells funny. Watch, China Glaze never sends me PR again because I said they use smelly glue. Um, I got in that package, and I'm going to do a full swatch and review of the polishes in this, but they sent two of these nail wraps, and they are really fun. So we have one called Scaled to Perfection, and this is the green one, which immediately my eyes were drawn to and it's got like a snakeskin look and then across three of the nails you can have like a snake trailing and then we also have this one called second skin 
and it's got like a lot of like orangey vibes here not vibes it just is orange i gotta stop calling everything a vibe not everything is a vibe hillary <laughs> sometimes it just is so it's got these like kind of three different like colorways of the same snake pattern I like that. I think these are really fun. I would like to try them out. It looks like each package comes with 16 of the nail wraps and then one nail file and an orange wood stick for application. Very fun. Really cool for not only Halloween, but I don't know. I feel like some people are really into the snakeskin look. I never have been, but on the nails, I think it would be a fun nail art. The box also had this little snake ring embedded in it on, from the outside. So it was like, like you can kind of see there was a hole there. This was like sticking in there. I was like, oh, what's that? That's really fun. I like the way they packed it up. And so I thought that was cute to go with the Serpentine collection. Um, it has some goofy little eyes. I love him. And then there is, of course, the entire six piece collection. This is their Halloween collection. Now, the Halloween collection is, in my humble opinion, the most look forward to collection from China Glaze every year, at least in my book. I, as soon as they release one, I'm like, I can't wait to see next year's. Last year's disappointed me. I, I did do a review on it, but I was like, oh man, like it just wasn't what I personally wanted. Although I did see a lot of people who enjoyed it. So it's not like, you know, it wasn't like it was like the worst thing. Uh, this year I had seen it on other people's channels and I was like, all right, I'm going to pick that up. But then it showed up on my doorstep. So that was really cool. And I just on first glance, I got to say, I really like this. I won't go too in depth because I will do a full review, but just going polish by polish really quick. We have Fall from Grace, which is this blue. It looks like it's got like these metallic flakes. It's like it's like a flaky metallic and maybe some hollow in there. We have Madame Medusa, which I mean look at that green it's it's like it's so pretty and that alongside this caution might bite this fun orange i just these are so fall to me i really like those there's slither with what three s's that's a lot of s's uh and i think my room is really dark right now the weather is so bad out i think it leans a little bit brown it's like a brown or like a light like lighter not a light black because that just means gray uh i don't know i'm gonna call it brown we're gonna go with brown and then there is a gold called gold hearted and that one is another one of those like shimmery metallic -y kind of polishes i will explain these so much better in my no i won't i was gonna say i'll explain these so much better in my full review no i won't i some people have such a knack for describing things i'm like hey look at this thingy but then we have Pantheon Goddess, which this one piqued my interest right away. On camera, I feel like you're probably like, Hillary, that just looks like a plain, like metallic -y silver. In real life, it's got, it reminds me of some of the polishes they released in, what was it, two years ago? They did like the Extra Stellar. It's just got such a, like a funky shimmer. I think it's not picking up, but trust me, guys. When I show you swatch pictures, I'll try and take a good photo of it and you'll be able to see that they're just, it's, it's like a, I hate the term light multi-chrome, but it's like, it almost had this, has this really like barely there multi-chrome effect that you just see it out of like the periphery of your eye. I love it. I think if all goes well, if, if the formula performs the way I want it to, this will probably be my favorite of the, the six. So on September 20th, my friend Stacy Quality Nails, who I will have linked down below, although I've been talking about her for half the video, she came to visit me here in Michigan. She lives in LA. And so I was like, how do you, how do you show somebody from LA a good time in Michigan? Like they just, it's a very different kind of setting, you know, but we did a lot of stuff. We had a lot of fun and uh, she did bring me a birthday gift as well as some polishes that I had ordered in a group buy with her. So I mentioned these in a previous haul because I had bought them in a previous month, but I got three dangle foots. This one is called Bones, which it's a Star Trek based polish. I mean, I couldn't help myself. And it's like a indigo shimmer. This one's called Trekkies, which is another Star Trek polish. And it is a really deep blue, maybe purple leaning multi chromey type of polish. And then I bought this one called Dream Eater, 
which is like a gray base with a really hard pulling purple shimmer. And like I said earlier, I'll buy any gray, <laughs> buy any gray with a shimmer in it for sure. So here we go. And then as a gift, she brought me uh, some, just this really funny lip balm set, which is gonna go perfectly with the one, like the Doritos, where did it go? There it is. The Doritos one that the other Stacy Keizu Beer Girl gave me. Um, I'm gonna put these up next to it because they're Mountain Dew lip balms. Like Mountain Dew and Doritos, come on, that is such a funny pairing. And they are shaped like the bottles. And then there is the lip balm in here. They don't really, like they have a scent, but it is so faint. It's not like toxic, like the cheese ones that I got are, but there's a little Baja Blast. There's a regular Mountain Dew. There's White Out, and then there is Lime. What is it? Lime Live Wire. I don't like Live Wire. I that's I don't drink Live Wire. I am very specific about the Mountain Dews I consume. <laughs> Disgusting. I love Mountain Dew though. So these are really cute. I love mini versions of things. And then she got me a couple of ILMPs, which was super nice of her. I didn't expect that. So we have Open Field, which is just a green flaky bomb. Like look at how green that is, and it's got these like multi-chrome or they're called like ultra chrome flakes ultra chrome chameleon flakes i think ucc flakes the thing i read about every month on polish pickup and then i have to google it every time because i forget what it means so there was that one and then this one is called legacy and it is like a swampy nasty little green i love him uh and it's a hollow and stacy told me that I'm pretty sure this was the one that, as she was adding it to the cart for me, she was like, I loved it so much. I added a second one for myself. So now we both have this one. And that was, oh, I forgot the logo is different on the top. So yeah, I now have a couple bottles with the heart on them. It has broken the barrier of me being petty about the bottle change. And now I can just buy ILMP again. So thank you, Stacy. That same night when she arrived, was it the same night? I think it was the same night. We took her to Meyer, which uh, if you're not from the Midwest, that's a Michigan-based grocery store. I I likened it to Walmart and Rob got really offended because he's like, it's so much better. And I'm like, yes, it's better than Walmart. It's just similar to Walmart in that it has the grocery side. And then it also has like a side with home and like books and things like that. So it's just like one of those big, what would you call it? Like a big box store, but Meyer not to promote them, but like they have like, they source all their produce locally. So their produce is just good. And so we took her there and I wanted her to get some of the Studio M brand nail polishes so that she could get some like Michigan based nail polish. And then I was like, well, I gotta get some too. So first I got, I got this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel top coat. It's called Unicorn. And it just, I saw it from, it looks like nothing on this camera, but from across the way, it's like this green, blue, purple shimmer. And I don't even, I don't even wear these. I don't wear any of the toppers I have. And yet I still bought it because I was like, wow, that looks beautiful. So I picked that guy up. And then I got two Studio M's because they were buy one, get one 40% off. And Studio M is like $2.99 or something like that. They are a private label of Color Club. And so some of the shades are pretty much the exact same as some Color Club. This one is called Fresh Effect and on green, or on green, on camera, it looks a little bit dull. It's, it's very, what would you call that? Not quite grass green. It's bright. It's not quite neon. There's a word for this type of green and I, it's Kelly. Is it Kelly green? I think it's a Kelly green. Uh, and that one is fun. This one Stacy told me to buy, so I did. And then I also picked up one called Unicorn Horn, which again has that shimmer in it that iridescent blue to purple, blue to pink kind of shimmer. And it's set in like a cloudy light blue, really cute. So I got these for really cheap. I don't remember how much I ended up paying at Meyer. I could, I guess I could pull my receipt from the app, but that's a lot of effort. So just know that it didn't cost that much, you know? Oh, it was also really funny because as we're at the checkout, we were at two separate self checkout lines and Stacy comes up to me and she was like, hey, can I, am I allowed to take the bags? 
And I was like, what? Like, yeah, you can, you put your stuff in the bags and you take it. That's how shopping works. Now I remember that in California, you have to like pay for your shopping bags a lot of places. And it was just, it was just really funny because I was just like, yeah, you can take, of course you can take a shopping bag. What are you crazy? You're in a shopping area. But when I lived in Japan, you had to pay for your shopping bags too. And I was like, absolutely not. And so I just started carrying my own shopping bag. They really got like, I was like, I'm not paying the five cents it costs for a shopping bag. And then I spent like $20 on a fun one. So who's the fool here? The next day I took Stacy to Frankenmuth, which if you are not from Michigan and you never heard of it, Frankenmuth is Michigan's little Bavaria. And if you know, you know, it's like this little like Bavarian German based town that Honestly, I've asked Germans that I know, I'm like, what do you guys think of that? And they're like, yeah, it's, that's not, that's not what Germany is like. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I know. I just want to know, like, what's the, wh what do you think of it? And they always say it's really funny, but they have like, I think the w world's largest Christmas store called Bronner's and it's massive. So we spent like two hours just shopping for Christmas ornaments. And then we walked around Frankenmuth and they ended up in one of the stores because they have like a lot of like artisan type, like honey and other things that I've already, popcorn, artisan popcorn, um, and like just handmade stuff. And one of the stores was selling Northern nail polish and I had never seen it in the wild. I've only ever seen it online. And I bought, because they have a bunch of polishes named after Michigan cities. And this one is called Frankenmuth. And I thought it was only appropriate to buy Frankenmuth in Frankenmuth. And now, the price of this polish, I do know because it's on the bottom. It was $14.99. And I was like, hmm, is that like, are they marking it up a ton? Should I just buy it online? And I went to their website and I'm pretty sure their polishes are $14 on their website versus $15 in the store. And I was like, well, what a steal because now I don't have to pay shipping. So I did get my first Northern nail polish finally. And like the reason why I like care so much is this is a Michigan based brand, obviously. I mean, it's got... It's got a little Michigan on the bottle. I love it. So uh, it's kind of like a sunset multi-chrome. Not typically my favorite, but I will make an exception for this Michigan-made Frankenmuth nail polish. So I got that. On September 22nd, Stacy had actually arranged for us to make an excursion to Glitter Unique, which is a nail polish supplier that is actually located here in Michigan. And they are close to me actually they are close to where my boyfriend works and so two of Stacy's friends drove from all the way out from I'm like north south east west the west side of the state they drove like three hours to my place and met up with us here and then we drove like I think it's like 30 40 minutes to Glitter Unique's warehouse and she gave us like a mini tour and showed us just how like I was like how do you guys organize everything I was like please tell me all the details of your storage and everybody else is like asking about like cool nail polish pigments and I'm like I want to know about all the logistics of this business because <laughs> I don't know that's just the type of person I am but we spent literally five hours just mixing nail polish there with her and she you know let us use some of the pigments she let us buy directly from her warehouse. So I did walk away with quite a little bit of stuff. I ended up, each of us bought a set of 12 empty bottles and all of us mixed up 12 polishes. So I don't have like names for any of these, but I made this, I think it's got reflective in it. I'll post pictures of each one of these individually, but it's like a, like a pinky red reflective. Um, I made this cool topper that has lightning bolts in it. I made a purple shimmer, who's surprised. I made this kind of like minty ice cream one and I ended up finding that one really cool. Here's another purple. I wanted to make a cool orange. This is a blue with uh, like ho crushed hollow flakes. This is like a red with a lot of glitter. It looks really dark on camera, but I assure you it's red. Oh, I made like a Barbie pink. I think there's something else in here. Maybe it's just pigment. But yeah, I made like this Barbie pink shimmer. I think this is one of the first ones I made. Just a fun blue. Oh, this one's really cool. I made like a black to red multi-chrome, which like I already have like four of those, so I didn't need it. And then this one was the only one that I'm like, oh, that was a dud that I made. It's like a green uh, like jelly. 
And then I put bat and ghost glitters in there and like, it just didn't turn out the way I had it envisioned in my head, but it's still fun. I also made this little mini sunflower yellow just cause I wanted to make a yellow and I hadn't yet. So that one's cute. She had some polishes that she was just like, oh, I'm trying to like de-stash some of my stuff. And so if you guys want any of these, you can have them. And so I was like, I will absolutely take the sassy sauce. They, she had sassy sauce vibin', which is a pink with a shimmer in it. I love Barbie pinks. And then sassy sauce twisted terracotta tanzanite, which is that terracotta base. And then it has like a green shimmer running through it. This is like one of those like ugly, weird, beautiful colors, you know, like ugly. When I say ugly, I don't mean like, ew, that's gross. I just mean like ugly in the sense that it's not what most people would traditionally look at and say like, that's beautiful, that's stunning. I feel like most people wouldn't look at this color with that shimmer running through it and be like, that's traditionally beautiful. I think it's funky, but I think it's really cool. It's like editorial, you know? And then I don't think it, it wasn't that night, but it was like a couple nights later, Stacy and I were like, we want to make more nail polish. Like we got the bug. And so uh, I had six, empty, I keep wanting to say blank bottles, empty bottles lying around. I gave her three and then I took three and I made these three polishes as well with some of the stuff that we had bought and we just like shared our pigments and stuff. It was just really fun. Mixing your own nail polish, you know, I'm always like, I don't need to start a brand. I don't need to do that. And then I mix my own nail polish and I'm like, what if I started a brand? What if I did that? I have a whole list of ideas. So what if I did that? I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that was the 22nd. I feel like this video has gotten out of control long, so I got to speed up the last part. So on the 23rd, Stacy and I were, I think we took like a day where we were just like, let's just hang out and not do much because we have been doing a lot of things and we're like, tired. And so we hung out and we watched movies and we watched YouTube videos all day. And it was really fun to have somebody to sit with and just watch like nail YouTube together. Because, you know, when I watch it, I watch it alone or like Rob comes in and he makes like a, like that looks like the sauce that I like kind of a comment. And I'm like, I don't, you don't understand. Like, like I have friends with similar interests to me. Like I, I have plenty of nail polish friends. But all of my nail polish friends live all over the U.S. It's not like I can just go and plop down on their couch and like we can just throw up videos on the screen. And the one friend I have who is into nail polish who's local, you know, she just had a baby a year ago. Why did I sound so resentful? She just had a baby a year ago. I'm happy. I'm happy she had the baby. I made him a sock monkey the other day even. Uh, but it's like not easy to just, you know, be like, let's just hang out on a whim because they have an entire child to take care of. So it was cool to just like sit there and we watched a bunch of videos and we were watching a couple that really influenced me. So on the 23rd, one we watched was Polish with Ray's nail polish rack for fall. It was so funny because she's like showing off all these polishes and she was she was putting Elysian Fields on her rack and Stacy goes, she's going to mention you. And I was like, no, she's not. And then she goes, I really think that this is Hillary's polish. And I was like, oh, thank you, Rachel. I love it. It is my polish. Elysian Fields is mine. I just, it's, it's me in a bottle. So we were watching that and she kept showing like all these beautiful polishes. But the one that really got me was, I think she showed a couple polished for days polishes. So then I pulled up the website on my phone and I was like going through and I started adding stuff and I was like, well, I should throw in some top coat too because Stacy sent me my first bottle of the polish for days crystalline top coat and I ended up really liking it. I wish they had refill bottles, but it's fairly cheap. I think it's like six bucks a bottle. So I ended up throwing two of these in my cart because of Stacy. And then the one that really sent me to the site in the first place, the one that Polished with Ray showed on her video that I was like, all right, you got me. It was Memo to Me, and it is this beautiful, oceany, deep blue flaky. And then I also, I think, did she show this one too? Shadow on the Moon, which is a slime green flaky. I mean, I just love a flaky. I think Rachel showed this one as well. So I ended up throwing both of these in my cart. And then Incandescent is a darker green, it looks black on the screen, but it's a darker green flaky. And I was like, okay, 
count me in. I got that one. And then Stacy yelled at me and was like, you better add the Maui Charity Polish because this is what she was wearing on her nails when she flew in. It is, I think, called Ikaika. And she was wearing it when she flew in. And like, I think I asked her like three separate times. I was like, what is that? I love that. And then I'm pretty sure Polish with Ray maybe showed, somebody we watched showed this polish. I can't remember who. And I was like, wow, that's really pretty. And Stacy was like, yes, I know you've been saying. And I was like, oh, have I? Like, I just forget. And then I was on the website and it popped up like first thing on the screen. And I was like, oh my God, Stacy, look at this polish. It's so pretty. And she was like, like I, I could tell she was like about to slap me because I just kept forgetting. And so I did add it to the cart and then I went to check out and I was like, oh my God, the shipping's really high. I think it was, it was like $9. And Stacy's like, well, if you spend this much more, you'll get free shipping. And I was like, dang it. Okay, I will do it. So I got cue the confetti, which is a like black flaky. I just love flakies so much. And she has stickers. So I have to use one of these. And I, I bought one to make a sticker magnet because I gotta have, I like having the brands on magnets so then I can just throw them on the drawer and then I know like, oh, I'm looking for Polish for Days. There's the Polish for Days sticker. I just really like that. And that, <laughs> that cost, how much did that cost? $85.86. So uh, Rachel and Stacy, I will be invoicing you. That was your fault. I blame both of you. The next day I had a similar issue because we were watching videos again that evening and we were watching, Stacy had never seen Wild Moon Lacquer and I was like, you gotta see this girl's video. She's got crazy hauls. And I was showing her, I hadn't watched any of the videos in the series, but I was just like, she found like an estate sale where she got like 2000 polishes or something like that for a really crazy deal. And so we started watching, we watched like the first couple episodes in the series. It's like 38 videos long. So, but she just kept showing polishes like, po yeah, she was showing polishes, but like, you know, the brand polish P A H L I S H. She kept showing polish. And I was like, yeah, I really like them. And I had just bought them like back to back in a couple of polish pickups. So I was like, well, let me just go browse. Let me just go browse their website. And while Stacy's watching, I'm just like adding to cart, adding to cart. And then I placed the order. I was like, Stacy, you want to see the order? I just placed and she was like, are you serious? So I bought one, two, three, four, five polishes. Three of them are pre-orders. So they haven't, like nothing's come in yet. Um, and I spent 70 even. So what did I get? I got this one called Betwixt, which I will pop up the pictures from the website. I got Betwixt, which is a green flaky. I got Vecna's Curse, which is a really pretty like checkerboard red and it's got black flakies in it. And I really, really like that. And then the three pre-orders I got, I got Best Fiends, which is a Barbie pink shimmer. I have a weakness. I got Witch and Famous, which is a really, really pretty purple. It's my kind of purple. And then I got one called Goblin Mode. And that, I told Rob, like, was it two nights ago? We were laying in bed and I was like, oh, I got, I got a polish. I pre-ordered a polish called Goblin Mode. And he goes, oh, let me guess. It's a nasty, swampy little green, isn't it? And I was like, well, yeah. And he goes, oh, you need more of those. I was like, okay, Robert, first of all, you're my little goblin. So I bought it because of you. Second of all, yeah, I love swampy greens. Sue me. Divorce me over that. Hey, could you imagine in divorce court? I'm leaving my wife because she won't stop wearing swampy green nail polish. So yeah, they're they're beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear goblin mode because I just, I love going goblin mode, you know? Okay, and then I went to TJ Maxx with Stacy on the 25th. Um, I think this was like the day she left. We were just like, let's go shopping. Let's go run around before we have to catch your plane. And so we went to, I, I like warned her, I was like, our TJ Maxx's and stuff here, they don't usually have a lot of good stuff. Like, it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. But we went and we did find a few cool things. Now this one, I don't have the receipt for, but all the polishes I believe were priced at $4.99 and I got four, so we'll just call it 20 even. Um, Cause I did buy some earrings too, but I just uh, don't remember the pricing on everything. Um, but I got this OPI, which, 
is like a a gray blue with like this really fun purpley blue shimmer. I just I love it. And it's called Check Out the Old Guy Sirs. And I don't I don't think I really buy OPI unless it's from a TJ Maxx, to be quite honest with you. Uh, so I picked this up. They had a lot of OPI and Orly. And that was mostly it, although I did have a couple cool finds. So this one is a mini Lux, I, and I don't know this brand, but I saw the bottle and I was like, I have to own that. Like, excuse you. It The color is called lipstick. And I just think like the red with the gold, like I'm seeing it like next to my ring and I'm like, oh, this would be such an elegant manicure with this ring on. Like, it's so pretty. And the bottle is super weird. It's one of those silly little caps like that um and then on the inner cap it has the shape of the bottle like engraved on the plastic um it's a fine brush it's whatever um but really I just bought it because I thought aesthetically it was cute so the sticker on the bottom is huge uh and then there are these are called color department which I saw somebody I follow on Instagram has shown that these are available at TJ Maxx recently, but I, I've never seen these outside of TJ Maxx or like outside of the, the concept of TJ Maxx this is the first time I've seen them in my TJ Maxx. Uh, the, the bottle itself doesn't look like it's drugstore, but I think it is. I think Stacy looked it up and said it was. Um, also the top of the cap looks a little sus, uh, but I, I think they're fun and I just want to have a couple in my collection. The brown one is called Caffeinated. And then the light purple that I earlier was like, I don't like light purple. I like this kind of purple. It's just that weird pinky purple that I don't like. So I like this purple. And this one is called Wisteria. And they just look really fun in these bottles. And that is everything I bought or received in the month of September. Now, I'm filming this on September 29th. And I think, but I'm not sure... I might buy the Sweet and Sour Lacquer Land Before Time collection because I believe it's the same finish as the Salad Fingers collection, but they're like lighter colors and they just look really pretty and I kind of want the whole collection. So I might pick that up and take that out of my nail polish budget because I, let me tell you, I ran out of my extraneous budget. Like it's gone and we're done. I, um, it's just like a buffer. So I'll just refill it as the months go on. The buffer is exactly for these kinds of situations, but, uh, I might, I might pick it up. I'm probably going to pick it up. We'll see. But yeah, that is everything I got. This video got a lot longer than I had expected. I really didn't think I got that much, but I did. I did. Honestly, I did most of my shopping when Stacy was here. So she's a bad influence. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe next time I see her, I'll bring a little bit more money. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be it from me. Let me know if you guys got anything same as me or any cool things that you did pick up in the month of September. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.